If you like my content here on YouTube, please consider supporting me on Patreon. You will also get access to four extra videos each month on the 7th, 14th, 21st and 28th. Polls, pictures, previews and much more. Come join the fun and thank you for making my channel possible. Hey Nova ones, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking and today I've got a very nice package in the mail. Let's go open it up. Okay, so as you could see, finally, finally for crying out loud, I've got my full plate armor. I've been waiting for three years in the making, but finally it is here. So let's try and put it on. I'll put it on first on my Armin doublet only, and then I'll put it on, my, on this shirt of mail so you can see the difference. Let's go for that.
I would like to take a moment to thank all of you who have made this possible both through the crowdfunding campaign but also through Patreon and all the donations on Patreon. Thank you so much. All of your contributions and your donations really mean the world to me. And it's because of you that finally a dream that I've had forever has come true. The possibility to reenact one of my ancestors, a an Italian, a northern Italian, since my dad is from the north anyways, a northern Italian knight wearing or donning a full Milanese set. Now given I still have my legs, my armet and my gauntlet in the making, it will take a little longer to get those done, but so far the soft kit is done, as you can see a big chunk of my full plate is done, and it was great to be able to put these on does fit well. Now you will see that there is a little bit of space between the breastplate and uh, what I wear underneath but that's mostly because what I will have to do is have a my arming doublet, my mail and then the plate on top. That's the original idea. Now my current arming doublet is not really suitable for this mail shirt. This is a mail shirt that I normally wear over something else. So you know it's still in the making, still in the making but the gap is there because it's keeping this into consideration. And so far what I could see is the arms are fantastic. They work marvelously and I will make a dedicated video to full plate arms uh, soon on the channel. So I'm going to sort of, you know, use each single piece and make a dedicated video to that because I think that that way I can avoid making like a super long video and trying to give you, you know, to pack those 10-15 minutes with as much details as possible, as many details as possible onto that specific topic. So, you know, these videos will be coming up soon. For today, I just wanted to put it on and give you some general impressions. My general impressions at the moment are that with the mail, you know, the weight is there. I mean, it's not too much, and particularly if I was sitting uh, or if I was on a horse, it would, wouldn't be as much of a problem as it would be as if it would be if I were just walking all day, which is not really what noble men did. Uh, but I have to say that the weight is there. When I remove the mail shirt, however, I notice that the weight is not too much of a problem, and then it's mostly because of the fact that you know the uh, the fold at the moment it is pushing me uh, when I do wear my arming doublet which does have more substance than my male shirt alone uh, it does make the fit closer which means that most of the weight is now on my hips and not on my shoulders which really does make a world of difference now given am I happy with this armor I think the shoulders are fantastic uh, the arms are perfect the breastplate and backplate phenomenal the fold uh, you know the placard part is good the fold I'm not really happy with, and which is why I'm in contact with the armorer and I'm having a second fold made. Now this fold is not completely historically inaccurate. Was what's the problem with the fold? It's the fact that it's a bit too large to my taste. There was a little probably miscommunication between me and the armorer. It's not a big deal. I will have a second fold. This fold looks more like the sort of fold worn by, for example, these archers over here or these crossbowmen over here. It's kind of larger, uh, so it's not that it's not, it's completely inaccurate, but it's not exactly exactly the sleek northern Italian look that I was looking into uh, and, and it's also a little bit of a later period because the armor that I'm having is loosely based on the B1 from Mantova uh, and I say loosely based it's not like a perfect replica uh, so far I mean the back plate looks exactly the same but right now I'm going to have a, a fold that it it's more like this rather than like this uh, which is my preference so yes I will have a second fold um, which is interesting though because I mean the, the current fold also exists in history it should, st should still be a little tighter but understand that you know working from distance is not easy so I'm not going to point the finger at the armorer because I think they did do a great job I mean the quality of the armor is spectacular so I do strongly suggest you to check them out and advise you to work with them because they did a spectacular job it's just this one minor new detail that I'm not 100% happy with and since I'm trying to recreate a very precise uh, impression of a northern Italian look uh, I will have the fold remade and uh, but apart from that I will keep this one so then we will have two folds and I can have two different configurations and I can try them on both in fact I think I'm going to use this current fold for my um, crossbowman, a Genoese crossbowman impression, and I will use the new fold that will have a, a closer map. So I'll even put more lames, I think. I'll, you know, we'll, I'll let you know uh, when once that's completely decided, and I'll use that one for my nightly set. So that, you know, I always wanted to have a, a, cr a Genoese crossbowman set anyways, so I'm gonna use this fold for that. So anyways, fantastic. I am going to do loads of tests and make them soon on the channel, so stay tuned, and many, many other interesting videos coming soon. There will also be 
be a comparison between my samurai set and my full plate set now. So loads of stuff. Right now I'm wearing the full shirt of mail, which is what Italians did, which is, I mean, we Italians have always been a little crazy, but I've got to say that. I mean, I understand why the Germans, for example, in the Gothic style would rather wear, uh, wear voiders, because voiders are definitely going to make this a lot lighter. In fact, right now, of this entire thing, my heaviest component, single component, is my mail shirt. This is what's really giving me a hard time in terms of weight. Even though I've got a belt and whatnot, it still adds a lot of weight. And the second heaviest component is my fold and placard. The breastplate, not a big deal. The arms are suspended. The shoulders, they are suspended, although I do feel them. I mean, when they're not there, I can tell the difference, but I understand, you know, the, the left shoulder is not just protecting my shoulders, of course, but it's also closing in the gap. You can't see the gap that is usually protected by male. On the right, of course, that gap is there because I need this arm to be more nimble. Well, that was loud. To be more nimble so I can operate my sword, my weapon, whatever I'm using. So that's why here you've got the gap. And, and again, you understand that everywhere in armor where you can remove a little piece to decrease the overall uh, weight, then of course armorers will do that. So for this armor, generally speaking, this is what we have so far. And of course, once I get my gauntlets, once I get my armit, which I will have, and of course I will show you everything. And, and again, remember that everything gets shown to my Patreons a little earlier. So if you want to see things beforehand and have a little discussion uh, about these things, make sure to come and support me on Patreon because it's thanks to both Patreon and the crowd funders that this was possible and all the different videos that we will do uh, that I will make and all the different comparisons that I am able to make now because I've got a full set of Milanese plate armor. All right, number ones. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember thumbs up. And if you're not yet members of this community, become a number one. Subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings.